Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of May 2022. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out for in the monthly format. We're going to go through these cards one by one, and then I'll get to your reading. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces. Overall energy, Pisces, is the world in the upright position. Um, week one, we have the Five of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And then in week two, we have the Three of Cups in the upright with the Four of Wands upright. And in week three, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright with the Moon in reverse. And in week four, you have the Empress with the Hierophant in the upright. So you have a bit of Major Arcana here. One, two, three, four, five Major Arcana. Yep. Yeah going to be an intense month for my Pisces, I see. The world is your overall energy, so of course it's going to be intense. This is a heavy hitter. The world is about closing out a cycle, and this is your overall energy. So this month you could be seeing your world changing in a major way. Um, you know, I call this a graduation card. It could be some of you are graduating and you're leaving behind your scholastic world and moving into uh, a career. For others of you, this could be about retirement. Perhaps some of you are closing out a long-standing career and are now looking at retirement. Others of you, this could be about a long-standing relationship that this is the final, you know, this wouldn't be something coming out of the blue. This would just be the final divorce papers being signed now. For others of you, you could be thinking about changing it up. Like maybe you've lived in your house for many years, you've raised your family there, and it's it's time to downsize. Maybe it's time to sell the house and to move into something a little bit uh, easier to look after. Others of you could be thinking about taking a trip around the world. Maybe some of you are planning on going somewhere or even moving somewhere completely different. Others of you could just be thinking about changing your career. Maybe you want to leave behind. You could have had a long-standing stellar career doing one thing and perhaps you want to shift and move it into something else. So this is about a closeout and a renewal. So interesting, especially being your overall energy. In um, week one, you have the Five of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Now, this is interesting because um, the Five of Swords in the reverse position points to, you know, the battle is over. Sometimes this can be an inner battle. It's when we're, you know, dealing with heart versus head or we're of two minds of something when it's in the upright position. This can uh, be representative of interior conflict, something that's going on inside of you. Sometimes the Five of Swords in the upright can point to conflict going on with others. But the good news is, is it's in the reverse position pointing to the battle is now over whether it was an interior battle or whether it was an exterior battle it's over you could be tired from the fight because a lot of times this can point point back to the four of swords in the upright which is a card that represents needing to rest after battle so uh, many of you have fought a difficult battle I know what Pisces has been through lately so it's been a tough road so the good news is you're finally, you know, starting to heal from that situation. The Ten of Swords is rooting it down, but it's in reverse. So this is about healing energy, healing from a situation that bottomed out. The Ten of Swords in the upright position could have brought you to the, the brink of the... Of, of your sanity at some point where perhaps for some of you it was a relationship others of you this could have been a career or a job situation could have been a family situation whatever it was it, it hit the the last straw it was it was the it bottomed out basically so I understand now where the world fits in here Pisces because some of you had just you know hit the end as it hit the skids and then now you're starting to heal from that situation. You're no longer in conflict with yourself or with others. And you've ma you're making peace with things, um, Pisces. I think in week one, and maybe it's because you've made this decision to close something out. Now in week two, we see it's party time for Pisces because we've got the three of cups in the upright rooted down by the four of wands in the upright. 
both are cards of celebration. So whatever is coming to an end, coming to its conclusion, I think you're feeling quite good about it. The Three of Cups in the upright points to that celebration. Sometimes this can be a bon voyage party. This can represent an engagement party. It can represent is getting together with a group of friends and feeling wonderful, feeling very sociable. It's a very sociable energy. It can uh, indicate, you know, um, perhaps getting together with other people and maybe, you know, you could be meeting somebody with the Three of Cups. Sometimes in a social setting, you could be meeting someone and uh, have an emotional connection with them. It's rooted down with a beautiful four of wands in the upright position. This is the where we've reached a milestone in something. So it could be reached a milestone in a relationship. This can also indicate a celebration of a marriage or a uh, engagement. For others of you, this is about a completion of a project we finally have finished, either for work or for uh, our hobby or wh whatever the situation was, we finally put the finishing touches on something. We are finally at the stage where we can now celebrate our success, take a rest. We reach the summit. This is beautiful, Pisces, and there's a lot to celebrate. And now we move on to week three. We have the Queen of Wands here in the upright with the moon reversed. So the Queen of Wands is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. But it could just be about the energies of the Queen of Wands, which is someone who, again, likes to travel. I see a lot of travel, perhaps, in your future, Pisces. Could be about starting a business. Sometimes the Queen of Wands is like the entrepreneur. She likes to get things moving, get things going. She likes movement. She likes excitement. She likes adventure. Now, this could be you embodying the energies of the Queen of Wands, or it could be somebody you're dealing with. This could be a best friend. This could be your husband, wife, BFF, uh, um, family member, um, somebody maybe even I'm picking up some of you for some of you this is someone you're going to be meeting later on this month and the moon is with it in reverse so this is all about seeing things clearly for what they are there's no more confusion there's no more uh, guessing it can also represent um, sometimes when um, a misunderstanding has been cleared up. So perhaps for some of you, the Queen of Wands, there was a misunderstanding, something that went down between you two, and, and now it's being cleared up. So again, could be a love interest, could be uh, a friend, a family member, or someone that you were at odds with at one point. But now perhaps they're coming around, they're explaining to you what happened, and things are getting resolved. For others of you, you're just seeing things a lot more clear and you're seeing your way forward as the, the Queen of Wands does. The Queen of Wands does not let any grass grow under her feet. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she wants. She knows where she's going. So this could be you having that extreme clarity in week three to move towards your goals. Now, week four, we have the beautiful Empress rooted down by the Hierophant in the upright position. The Empress is uh, really nice energy. She can represent the, you know, head honcho, the CEO, the person in charge. She can represent a very powerful person. This could be the mother or the mother figure. Now, this could be you being the Empress at the very end of this month, or it could be you are dealing with the Empress. And the Empress is someone who's known for great abundance. She's also, as well as abundant, she can be wealthy and very powerful. This could be a person in a position of power that's able and ready and willing to help you or to aid you in some way. Uh, the Empress, like I said, could be a, a mom. It could be a, 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 a matriarch of a family. So this could be somebody aiding you and helping you in that respect. Um, could also be with child because the empress especially in this deck she looks very very much pregnant so it could be some of you are um, finding out that you're about to have a child maybe that's what's changing your world Pisces and it's connected to the Hierophant which is Taurus energy this is all about um, playing things out in a traditional way for some of you. The Hierophant can be about tradition, especially when it's with the Empress. If this is you, Pisces, maybe you are with child and you have decided to perhaps get married and 
you know, do things the traditional way. For others of you, this is about making a commitment. Now, you could be making a commitment to this empress, or you could be making a commitment as the empress, and perhaps you're committing to doing something. You could be signing a contract in terms of starting your own business, or maybe you're moving away, or you're doing something completely different that requires you to make this commitment. So that could be going on. Some of you could be joining a new um, spiritual group or a new religious group and uh, committing to that. It can be uh, committing to a government job and say, uh, especially if it's with a school or something, perhaps you are, you are doing like a like a, a short-term contract. It could be a three-month, six-month, or a year contract with the government or with the school. So you've got something going on here in a major way. Your world is changing, Pisces, and it's definitely something to celebrate. So I really hope that you um, leave a comment in the comment section below to let us know what's going on here because we do want to know what's happening with Pisces right now. Told you, lots of things are going on for Pisces right now. It's time. This is the best time to, you know, make your mark in this world and to, you know, state your intentions. So always in closing, I pull the, um, on the monthlies, I pull from the astrology uh, deck, two cards. One is for love and romance and the next is for uh, career and finance. First, we start off with love and romance. For Pisces, we see the number 33 eclipse in Sagittarius and growth. So there could be some growth in your emotional life. There could be a Sagittarius on board here. We do see the Queen of Wands, which can be Sagittarius energy. Perhaps that's the love interest for some of you. For others of you, it could be something significant happens in your love life when the moon is in Sagittarius or a Sagittarian introduces you to someone that could become a love interest. So next card is career and finance for my Pisces. What do we have here? Oh, Sagittarius again, <laughs> adventure number nine. So Sagittarius also could be involved in your financial and career situation, or the number nine could be May the ninth. It could be when the moon is in Sagittarius, something awesome happens in your career and finance situation. So that is what I have for you, my dear Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month of May. And if the reading helped you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Take care. Namaste. Much love. Bye-bye.